<clears throat> As you may know, since the merge, SRC now directly or indirectly controls almost the entire economy of Arcadia. This has somewhat put a strain on it, uh, leading to some stagnation, and while there are projects by other people underway that might address that, this meeting today is what we, as SRC, should do about it. The uh, economic, economic stagnation has had uh, some issues on my bank as well. So mm. yeah, it would be something that's important to address. Okay. How did we end up here? Back in February, I realized that I could easily get my hands on a beacon. Sure, there were some complications, but in total, I was able to gather at least four beacons with as little as half a day's worth of work. Giving one away to Thomas, I was able to directly profit off of the sale and use of the other beacons. It was around here that I learned two valuable lessons. Lesson one, Deep Slate is still insanely difficult to dig through, even with beacons. Lesson two. Even with the issues from mining and deep slate, I was going to need a bigger place to store spoil. There's a lot more items than what I am used to nowadays that all need sorting. Any more advanced mining operation was also going to need a dedicated spoil facility of some form. This is when I hatched the plan to build the Savannah Co. Spoil Facility, or SCSF for short. In all honesty, I'm still working on R&D for the project, as it is one of the most technical projects I've decided to work on, so don't be expecting to see it anytime soon, but I'm super hyped for it. One of the first facts I realized about the SCSF was that it was going to be very expensive. From land acquisition to resource prices and even building the damn thing was going to be pricey and Savanico has had a history of not having a lot of liquid funds. So I needed to hatch a plan to fuel my other plan. I'd been meaning to build some form of archive for a while due to the nature of Savanico, holding lots of assets the and the account needing relatively constant updates. Plus, I just really like doing paperwork, so I wanted a place to put all the books I had made on the server. I had a plot of land dedicated to the work in progress archive that had been empty for some time. The plan for the plan for the plan. I considered my best move was to buy as much Savanico stock as I could, going as far as to buy from shareholders. Then, building up the archive plot to be highly valuable, I probably could not sell the plot to the bank, but rather hold it as another one of Savanico's mini assets. After the archive was built, I would then sell my stock and see if I could cut a deal with RTC for iron and redstone, so I could build the SCSF. I began working on blueprints for both the Archive and the SCSF, getting decently far. One night, me and Thomas were on call together, and it crossed my mind that I should get a second opinion of my plan. See if I could actually build the SCSF after building the Archive using my current model. One night in a small room to change how the world turns. I explained my plan to Thomas, and he said that yes, this would give me a bunch of cash. It would not, however, cost the low-ball estimate costs uh, for the SCSF. He went on to explain that our estimates put the cost of iron alone to be over 5,000 Arcadian dollars. This realization put a serious wrench in my plan. I needed to do something for actual money, not just assets. We bounced plans back and forth. I suggested buying Savanico from RTC and maybe going as far as making RTC a subsidiary of Savanico. Thomas quickly put that idea to rest, stating it would most likely just result in a corp war. Thomas suggested a payback plan where RTC was able to freely use select parts of the SCSF, and while this was an 
agreeable idea, we both determined that it would leave Savanico in RTC's debt for way too long and would pretty much guarantee that Savanico would need aid from RTC again. One of us proposed taking a loan from the bank, which would have endangered Savanico's assets. One of us proposed that I make it a semi-public facility uh, similar to the Savanico Copper Forge. This missed the point of the SCSF. Finally, I made one of the more rash suggestions. What if Savanico and RTC merged? We debated it over a bit, but I could tell I caught Thomas's eye. He made arguments based more on how rights and cuts would be distributed. After 15 to 30 minutes of, of debate on names, paperwork, merge details, and asset review, Savanico and RTC had 72 hours left as independent companies. In that time, we had to buy back as much stock as possible to, and make sure our shareholders were aware of the merge. The bank opened a new account for the soon-to-be Savannah Rosethorn Corporation, which Savannah Co. funds were going to after the 72 hours were up. I was named CEO of SRC and Thomas the COB of SRC. Considering the largest two companies on the server were set to merge, this changed a lot about the economy of Arcadia. SRC basically owns the city. If you want to buy anything, there is a local SRC shop to purchase your goods from. You want to do business? Maybe consider becoming a subsidiary of SRC. The government has a contract. SRC is the first and only group to negotiate with. I didn't quite grasp our full power until about a month later when someone suggested adding weird regulations and restrictions on how businesses could conduct themselves. When I explained that any regulation that hurts the operational power of SRC would result in the complete collapse of the Arcadian economy as SRC would simply move outside of the city to an air quotes and Kapistan. And while I don't try to power trip with SRC, and I try to use my power as CEO purely to benefit the needs of Arcadia, it was striking that we could just tell the government no and they couldn't do anything. Arcadia has actually become a better put together city after the founding of SRC, and I would like to think that is a direct cause and effect. That being said, Fruity joined the server during the downtime, and for about a month, the server was super active. Hazel was working on her own country, Fruity was working on a base up north, we had lots of tournaments, a political party was founded to help in elections, SRC offered the RTC nether research for the government to review to hopefully make it more accessible, but that was sadly short-lived. I stopped playing because I wanted to make a video about SRC, Hazel lost interest in the server, and I feel like Fruity lost interest before he even joined, and outside of Ellis, nobody else seemed to even have an interest in the server. This leaves us at an odd spot. I would really like to continue playing now that this video is done and that there is a really cool update out, but everything we worked for seems all for naught now that nobody is on the server. On top of that, my frames seem to drop for no reason at all in certain parts of the server, which makes recording difficult. I think my plan now might be to just continue playing as if it was single player and replace gear mage with no you season two i really hope that interest in the server spikes again though with this video maybe i will have some people to chill with and show off my soon to be builds hey guys just wanted to do like a normal explainer animatic animation channel outro i guess anyway i wanted to talk about the fact that I am absolutely stoked about this video that I just made and I am sitting way too early in the morning drinking Monster so I can record this outro. Um, <laughs> I can't wait for everyone to see this video and actually 
you've seen it by the time you're seeing this outro. So that's fun. I'm definitely doing more, and I'd love to hear some feedback on what you thought of this one, where we could go from here. If you're wondering where I've been, um, I've been making this video and dealing with anxiety. Um, anyway, now that I've posted this video, I should be back on track to posting regularly, even if regularly is like four times a month. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It unironically helps huge. Um, and like, I don't want to like be the YouTuber who's like, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. But you know, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and with that, this has been Lizzie from OKSO okay Studios signing off.